Hi, I'm Mary Beth Ramsey. Welcome to the video on what it means to be a Society of Actuaries board member. I've been on the board since October of 2021, so about a year and a half. In that time, I've learned so much about how the Society of Actuaries operates, the strategic plan, and all about the work of the committees and the volunteers. This video provides you with information on the responsibilities of the Society of Actuaries Board of Directors and their role in the nominations and elections process. Service as a board member is really about leadership. The Board of Directors is responsible for leading the organization through supporting the strategic plan and helping advance the actuarial profession. Board members serve an important role in helping the organization carry out its mission, realize its opportunities, and fulfill its obligations to members, candidates, and other stakeholders. Board members also participate in leadership development activities, along with some great networking. Each year, five new board members and the president-elect are selected by the membership of the organization. You can find the descriptions for board members and president-elect at soa.org elections. Key dates for the 2023 SOA elections are also available there. You'll find that from March 31st through April 28th will be the call for applications for the nominating committee to review. After the applications are collected, our nominating committee will review them and select the best of the applications to be on the ballot itself. Starting June 26th, the ballot will be announced to the membership. And then on July 24th through August 24th, the petition process will be open so that members who weren't selected to be on the ballot have the opportunity to join the ballot by the petition process. Beginning September 6th through the 27th will be the time that the membership can vote it's the election process for the board and the president-elect. And then around October 2nd, election results will be available. Now let me introduce Dave Dillon, a past SOA board member, who will walk you through a bit more detail on the role of the SOA board of directors. A question that gets asked a lot is exactly how does the SOA board operate? Well, the short of it is it's a strategic board. It is not an operational board. So what does that mean? Well, it means the board spends about 90% of its time on big picture strategy and policy issues, not day-to-day -day stuff. So this approach reinforces the board's leadership role in setting the direction for the actuarial profession and the SOA and it helps leverage the time, expertise, and experience of each of the board members. If you're interested in learning more about a board agenda, please email elections at soa.org. Another question that's asked a lot is about like, who gets to decide what the agenda is for the board? And I, I think sometimes there's a, a misperception that the, the new president-elect or, or you know, chair gets to set the direction, and that's just not true. It is a collaborative approach uh, between all board members, and it's all focused on the strategic plan. So the work of the SOA and the board is driven by this plan and not by one group or individual. So that's very important uh, to remember. So being focused on the strategic plan, the SOA board focuses its efforts on determining what needs to be done next rather than reviewing what was done. So that plan has kind of laid everything out and kind of go step by step, talk it out and, and help the SOA move forward. So the board sets the strategic direction and then turns it over to another volunteer group or SOA staff for the next steps in the action and the implementation of the plan. So the board also considers issues of capacity, which could be financial and human resources related, uh, core capabilities, and the strategic positions before deciding what to do. What am I getting myself into? Um, you know, like any SOA volunteer, uh, it does take some time. And what it, what is that time? What does it take? Well, there's four board meetings a year. There's one in March, and that varies in location every year. Uh, there's a June board meeting that's in conjunction with the SOA health meeting. There's an October meeting held in conjunction with SOA impact meeting and exhibition. Uh, and then in November, there's an SOA leadership orientation meeting in Chicago, where the board also uh, gathers at that time. 
There could be some additional short virtual meetings throughout the year. Um, you know, and those might be during the work week, but those are typically, you know, 60 to 120 minutes long. Um, not as much a commitment as the in-person meetings. Now about the meetings, the in-person meetings, uh, they are typically a day and a half. Um, they do include like a reception and dinner and other social time. So you do get to meet the other uh, volunteers uh, on the board and, and get to know who you're working with and things like that. Uh, in terms of the prep time, it can take about five to six hours of reading and reviewing the agenda packets and things like that before each meeting. In terms of travel, it's about eight to nine days a year to travel to attend those meetings. Um, there could be other commitments based on committees. And then there could be a speaking invitation to, you know, universities or other actuarial groups because those are spread out between all board members. Uh, and the commitment chart can be found on the SOA website. So who is responsible for SOA elections? Well, there's a few groups involved, and it starts with the board of directors, and the board comprises of uh, 15 members. There's 15 board members and then three presidential positions, the president and chair, the president-elect and vice chair, and the past president. should be noted that in October of 2021, the board approved uh, title changes uh, to help clarify the president's role, that it's also a chair of the board meeting. So, this group, you know, kind of leads the organization and the actuarial profession through the SOA strategic plan. It performs fiduciary strategic and policy responsibilities. You can check out a video on the fiduciary duties of a board member on the SOA website for more information. Now, specifically regarding elections, there's two committees that are heavily involved. Um, one is the governance and policy committee. And it oversees a lot of things, um, including elections. And that's comprised of five to six uh, board members out of the bigger set. It identifies and appoints the nominating committee members, which we'll talk about again here in a second. And the Governance and Policy Committee, or GOPO as we call it, has oversight uh, for the election processes and the policies that are followed. And it reports directly to the SOA board. The nominating committee is comprised of nine fellows, and they each serve a three-year term. Uh, they review the election process and the policies annually based on previous ele election experience. Um, this nominating committee nominates the ballot of candidates for election in accordance with SOA policies, conducts the annual uh, election, and then three new committee members are appointed every fall to get new people involved. Um, in the process, and this group reports to the Governance and Policy Committee. So how do nominations work? Well, I mentioned that the Governance and Policy Committee and the Nominating Committee were the main groups uh, that were involved with elections at the SOA. So those two groups get together, they determine issues facing the profession, they identify the skills and experience needed for the board for the next year. You know, they'll assess, you know, what board members are rolling off, what were their backgrounds, making sure that, you know, the board for the uh, following year has a nice diverse mix of people uh, to, to help guide the SOA. Uh, the nominating committee will publicly post the call for nominations. Uh, then the NOMCOM will review the nominees submitted. They'll complete background checks. They'll do interviews um, with all the nominees, um, and they'll review the questionnaire that each nominee will, will submit based on their experience, their strategic thinking, core competencies, and things like that. So NOMCOM will review those questionnaires, they'll assess those results, and they will determine the election ballot based on the mix of skills and criteria they think are needed for the next year. Then nominating committee will submit the ballot of endorsed candidates to the board for the approval, and then have completed its work uh, following all the policies and procedures. And then once there is board approval, the nominating committee will notify the endorsed candidates of them making the slate for the ballot for the next year. So who gets to vote? Well, the elections for the SOA are open to fellows of the SOA and to associates of the SOA that have been members for five years or more. Um, so once the SOA announces the final sl slate of candidates, uh, the SOA will release each candidate's election questionnaire 
and their web pages will be posted on the SOA website and emails will be sent to members. So eligible members will receive login credentials and password for their electronic ballots via email. Uh, then an independent vendor manages the, the ballot voting process itself. Then the election results are sent to SOA leaders for review and verification and the candidates are notified. The SOA will publicly announce the elected candidates after all of this has taken place. Thank you for watching the video and for your interest in the role of the Society of Actuaries Board of Directors. Don't forget about the 2023 SOA election key dates. From March 31st through April 28th will be the call for applications for the nominating committee to review. June 26th and 27th, the ballot will be announced to the membership. From July 24th until August 24th will be the petition process. And then beginning September 6th through the 27th will be your opportunity to cast your ballot for the SOA board and president-elect. Election results should be available around October 2nd. You can learn more at soa.org slash elections.